Now, Africa's baobabs, also known as the tree of life, quite literally, they are under a new and as yet unknown threat. More of the largest and the oldest of the trees have been dying abruptly in recent years. Nine of the 13 oldest known examples are between 1,000 and 2,500 years old and have died over the last decade. That's according to a study published by the scientific journal Nature. Here's Vic Chege with the details. Some are so old they predate the Christian calendar. But now, these magnificent baobab trees are being killed. These trees can soar higher than 20 meters with hollow trunks so large that people have been known to build houses, shops, and even prisons inside. But here, an ancient baobab lies on its side. I'm very confused when those trees died because we, we get help from this tree, healing, and then food we get from these baobab trees. Shelter we get from baobab trees. And then when we see baobab trees, we remember the elephant because it's only the animal that can reach up there when taking fruits from baobab trees. Climate change with its rising temperature and increasing drought conditions is a suspected factor, but no definite cause is known. The trees that are falling over are at the southern range of the, the distribution of baobabs. And so what we, what we believe is happening is that the, the climate envelope in which they exist is, is shifting. And so we're not talking about the wholesale extinction of baobabs, we're talking about their inability, for example, to recruit at the moment. Uh, so in, in the southern areas of, of the baobab distribution, we see very few uh, juvenile trees but at the same time we're losing the mature trees. So what we're probably looking at here is a shift in their distribution in response to, to climate forcing. In addition to mature trees dying, fewer new trees are appearing. It is not known why, but it could be linked to decreasing numbers of elephants and fruit bats that help disperse the seeds. You know, climate change is affecting every pattern, in, you know, everything in in our life, including the trees around us. And um, uh, I, I guess the more this phenomenon go on, the more we will see what is happening to baobab, happening to other trees with, with the same ecophysiological requirement. Luckily, the trees are easy to grow. Some human intervention may not bring back the elders, but would easily help ensure the survival of the species. Vic Chege, CGTN.